Imagine living on Galveston Island going about your daily routine, but less than a few hours away, a deadly storm is bearing down on you. Well, that was the case for Gulf Coast residents in the summer of 1943 when a secret hurricane came ashore. Author Bill Cherry tells us more about the top secret storm. During World War II, Galvestonians stayed home at night. Oftentimes, all the city's lights were shut off to keep it safe from air attacks. Rather than sit in the dark, people went to bed. So it was on July 26, 1943, they went to bed without knowing that there was a hurricane brewing 140 miles from Port Arthur, and it was on its way here. And they still didn't know the next morning, so they went to work. But by 9 a.m., it was obvious one was coming, and it was just a couple of hours away. Workers quickly left. Some started trying to get to their homes. Others sought safety in buildings like the six-story main post office and federal courthouse building right here and the 11-story Santa Fe Railroad Depot a couple of blocks up the street. My daddy and his friend O.M. Curb, dressed in their cord suits and white spectator shoes, walked, waited, and fought the fierce wind to be home with their young families. By noon, the winds were 100 miles an hour. The roof on the post office building flew into the middle of 25th Street, right where I am. And the U.S. Weather Bureau's device blew into the middle of the street as well. There was no more Weather Bureau. Yep. Down the street at the train depot, people saw a gondola car flying 80 miles an hour down the track toward the building and them. They scrambled. It exploded when it hit one of the building's huge columns, but the column held. Sixty men were on the Corps of Engineers dredge when it capsized. Through high waves and the rough seas, one of them, Clyde Goings, rode a wooden door from that dredge for more than 24 hours. Miraculously, the next day, he was still on the door. Now the water was calm. A passive breeze blew him to shore. And my daddy kept his hurricane-soaked white wingtip shoes for the remainder of his life. I'm Galvestonian Bill Cherry, and it's those wingtip shoes that make that hurricane another one of my memories.